Doug, you see this uh, brook trout here above the door? <clears throat> this is uh, the first catch and release carving that I did. And that was a brook trout that I caught in Moosehead Lake, uh, 1984. Gene Barr is an avid fisherman, a bird hunter, all around an outdoorsman. But he's also an artist who saw a need. So I thought to myself, why, why don't I try carving a fish and see how fast and how well I can carve it and see if I can compete with taxidermy. And a career was born. Well, that's a, a beautiful uh, nine pound, four ounce uh, brown trout that was caught uh, in uh, Raymond Pond by Dwayne Machino. Carving wooden likenesses of fish isn't new. It's been around for over 100 years. But Gene takes it to a whole new level because he's seen a need for it. We have more fishermen than we've ever had before, legions of fishermen with the most sophisticated uh, fishing equipment we've ever had and, uh, and less trophy fish than we've ever had. So much for the why, what about the how? Doug, I've saved all the, uh, the measurements and profiles and templates of uh, of all the fish that's come through my studio in 30 years. Gene relies on taxidermy as well as carvings for his living. Some things don't lend themselves to carving. I turn out about 120 taxidermy pieces a year and about 25 or 30 carvings out of this door. And I try to, try to have a consistent, high quality work that goes out. His tools are many. From an old draw knife he found at a garage sale to the bandsaw, and then there are the finer things like the airbrush for getting the paint just right. He says he tries to remember one thing. As a small child, uh, when I, was, I guess I was a uh, early teens, my uncle once told me, he said, Gene, he says, whatever you do, do it well. Be one of the best. I never forgot that. And as to where all this talent comes from? It's amazing to me too, Doug. <laughs> it's a gift from God, and I truly am blessed to have this talent.